we welcome you to Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa on the campus of the University of Alabama. Fresh from their thrilling victory last week, the top team in the country, the Crimson Tide of Alabama. And the Aggies of Texas A&M come to Tuscaloosa for the first time ever. And they come as members of the Southeastern Conference. So many ties between these two football universities that we will develop throughout the afternoon. Take a look at the SEC West. Alabama's on top, undefeated. If they win, they clinch the West, and they will head short players. And today, that 12th man is C.J. Jones. Cyrus Jones out of the spread, handoff. Lacey gets a bit of a block, but a nice defensive job by Sean Porter, number 10. First. Good protection from McCarron. Good coverage by AM. McCarron wins it. No, this is Amari Cooper. Yeah, he had a job. He just had to learn to take care of the football. He's been doing a great job the last two weeks on the road. Ryan Swope is in the slot, number 25. Manziel, quarterback draw. Barrett Jones, he's the veteran up there. Here's Swope. Automatic first down. As Tom Ritter, our referee, and the official call is a face mask against Damian Square. The running game to get off as well. Four wides, one set back. Manziel takes off again. Uh oh, stiff arm. Out of bounds at the 15 yard line. There's Manziel under center, second and goal. Michael, injury prone, running back is in for the touchdown and for the 10th game this season. The Aggies score first. First down and 10. Aggies look like they might be coming. And off Lacey. Lacey with a first down. Nice. We're not crowding the box. They're challenging Alabama to run it. McCarron down across the middle. Picked off. Intercepted. That ends a long streak at Sean Porter. A streak of 290 plus comes to an end. It looked like two deep safeties, but they went late to the right. That is the first time McCarron has been intercepted since the game against Mississippi State at the 41 yard line. Manziel fakes the option, pulls up, drills a deep man open, diving catch. That's Kendrick McNeil. What a great throw and catch. Snap from Patrick Lewis. Four-man Alabama rush. Got him. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Oh, my gracious. Yep. How about that? Can't teach that, can you? And you can't defend that. When you have an opportunity to sack the quarterback, that's a touchdown every time. That's Kirby Smart, the defensive coordinator. I think he thought what I thought. They Stop had. a playmaker like Manziel. You got to get him. And this time, Alabama, oh, oh look, at almost a fumble of the ball. That's what kind of threw everybody off on the play. He almost loses it, recatches it, and keeps his wits about him. And that's why people have been asking me who he most reminds me of. He reminds me of a Ty Detmer back in his day when he used to make those scramble plays. The freshman star at the end of last week's come from behind win, and he gets nailed by Spencer Neely, number 99. And he ran right over. Nine sets up left side. Here's McCarron back, stunt blitz. McCarron has to get rid of it, and it's incomplete, and Alabama will punt. If the offense they think is audible. Blitz, Manziel, watch out. Boy, when he gets out of the pocket, no holds barred. Did it again, didn't he? Another Blitz, hand off Molina. Alabama's bringing Blitz. Inside, it's caught by Thomas Johnson. Guess what? First and goal. Here he goes across and run the ball. 
It's Michael. You're calling it fourth no, down. No, fourth down. After further review, the runner did cross the plane, touchdown. Before he got across the line, and Alabama fans are going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and That's, I gave it to him. I conceded it back to him. in this game. Here's Yeldon up the middle again. Second and short. This is Lacey. First down. And more. Three down for AM. They bring five. Out of the backfield is Lacey. I guess. Real, Boy, you got a good real spot. Close his foot. Play action. Little slight fake. Michael Williams down the sidelines. First and they needed this drive so bad. And off Yeldon. Touchdown, Alabama. Rushing, and he'll go over a thousand rushing and two thousand passing. There's the pass. Beautiful. Kendrick McNeil. Empty backfield again, five wide. Three man rush now for the Crimson Tide. Manziel drills it. He coverage and blitz, but they switched it up. Yep. Here's Manziel from the backside. Didn't get him the first time. Didn't get him the second time. My, but boy, my, do you my. pay for it. Fourth and six. Manziel pulls up. Oh, I think he's going to be just yes, short. Yes, he is. Losing that game to the eventual national champion. Cotton Play deep. action. McCoy. Oh, wow. McCarron. And Christian Jones hangs on. Handoff Lacey coming right. Nice little stutter step. And another first down. He hangs on as he is hit from behind. Lacey, left side. Lacey leaning. Lacey's in. Touchdown, Alabama. 2014. And let's go down to Trace, who is second and five. Aggies bringing four. McCarron going deep. Tipped incomplete. Beautiful play downfield by Howard Matthews, 21. Five man rush. Sanceri's coming in a blitz. Got him. That'll be down at the one yard line. And off Lacey. Yep, they stopped it. They, they, were, they were anticipating the run there, weren't they? Jonathan Stewart. Aggies bring only three. McCarron steps up, finds the short man. It's Lacey. Lacey leans forward, bangs for some more. Huge conversion on third down. Third and two. They give it to Yeldon. Yeah. He is stuffed. Gave, that, gave up on it a little bit too much. Cut back. This is from 28 yards out. Oh, boy. That one just shaved the upper. <laughs> John David Crow, 1957. He's among a group of 27 Bear Bryant coached players from Texas A&M who gathered last night. That's Gene Stallings on the right. And what a Found night. Found a formula to pressure him. Here comes the blitz again. C.J. Mosley coming. The catch is made by Mike Evans. That's his third catch. Left side. Catch made. Player loose. Thomas Johnson. He's 6'5", 218. Corner blitz again. Manziel being chased. Finds Evans again all of a sudden. That combination worked. Ball up to 25. Ryan Swope, number 25. And he just set a new career school record. He surpassed Jeff Fuller, who graduated last year. 234 career back to Tuscaloosa. And I don't think the Aggies are through celebrating. This was the scene as they went to the fourth quarter break. Up by three. Trying to maintain a perfect record on the road and to do so at Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa right now. Here's Manziel with the toss right to Molina, chased by Mosley. Got him. And I thought about low snap. Got it. Little Hoyt Wilhelm on that ball. It's time for them to prove it. McCarron takes it to Lacey. Caught and dropped all the way back at the 19.
Right side. Missed him. Yeah, yeah he did him. him. Third and nine. Four-man Alabama rush. Manziel with a lot of time. Deep down the middle, and it's caught by Ryan Swope. Oh, did he thread that one. Well, I tell you, you got to give Swope so much credit here. He's seven yards out. Right. Wide right. My, my, my. State with Rolando Blackman. A couple of years back. McCarran. Deep. Oh, he's got Amari Cooper wide open. Cooper. Yeldon is the running back. He goes left. Breaks into the secondary, Called it. and a fumble. Yep, and Hanum's got that football. That's the second yards. Gets into the secondary. It's ripped loose on the play. I think Stephen Terrell, number 21, ripped it. Of everything going on in college football, as soon as this one is in the book. Play action, Manziel. He's going to go deep right again, and he's got oh slow. gosh, what a pass. Oh, wow. A wheel route, and he put it like a baton in a track race. Put it right in front. Yeah. Stunts defensively. Manziel comes left side. Ball wobbles. It's caught. Touchdown. Malcolm Kennedy. You gotta know the play calling in those back-to-back -back plays. Richard freshman Johnny Manziel earned the starting quarterback job in fall camp. Got off to a brilliant start and has kept going. <laughs> Do they go onside kick? Do they dare give it back to AM again if they get a score? McCarran pulls up, intercepted. In front of Amari Cooper. No, they're going to say he was out of bounds. It was DeShazer. It's 21 to go. McCarron's got Cooper. Cooper's got a foot race. Cooper has a touchdown. Manziel. They contain him. They've got him. Jesse Williams has been telling the fans to quiet down. And hey, dude. Play action. McCarron deep down the middle. He's got Kenny Bell open. Kenny Bell at the six. McCarron. Lacey follows Johnson. Didn't work very well then either. They do. McCarron pumps once. Gets a good block. Quanjo. Now he's got a freelance. McCarron can't find anybody open. He'll run down at the two-yard line. It'll be fourth and goal. 147 to go. Fourth and goal. McCarron will throw it. It's intercepted. The Shazer Everett at the goal line. Alabama was really running their two-point play. This is the one they saved. They were trying to pick, but Everett did not get picked on the play. Sneaking out this guy and trying to get him to the flat. Everett says no way gets outside slides outside you could see cooper tried to pick him but he couldn't get to him for the block or the return exactly what's it look like can't tell they fake it or they go with it ryan epperson is the putter uh-oh who jumped fingers are being pointed in both directions
Oh, my. Neutral zone infraction, offside, on the defense. The defense got into the neutral zone, causing the offense to fall start. Five-yard penalty, first down. The Alabama player stuttered it in the neutral zone. The AM player reacted to it. At least that's the call on the field. Right up here. You could see the play. That's the way it was called. Unnecessary play. Come on, man. Tyler Hayes. Number 36 is the guy that tried to do too much. And did Johnny Football put himself in position to be a Heisman Trophy winner? The dream of defending probably has died for Alabama. The Aggies are still unbeaten on the road in their first season. into what the new coaching staff it's hardest on those guys and they're doing a great job of leading I'm just I'm happy for them you know they came to Texas A&M and, and who would have thought we'd be playing Alabama in their senior year the number one team in the country and the way they played today they led us and I, I couldn't be happier for this team uh, we have to ask you about Johnny Manziel he continues to amaze you doesn't he yeah I mean he no moments too big for it gives us, it gives our, our players a sense that, you know, we can score from anywhere and, and we can get, win the games. And I think that's a, a contagious feeling. I, like I said, these guys played their hearts out. What a football Congratulations game. Congratulations and welcome to the SEC. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Burn. First time the Aggies have ever played in Tuscaloosa. Bear Bryant coached at both schools. So did Gene Stallings. And I'm thinking right now the 27 men who made the trip, all of whom played for Bear Bryant at Texas A&M. And they were honored before this game began. What this trip must mean to them. And as good as Johnny Manziel play, remember that defense. Three turnovers that they forced in this football game and a goal line stand of McCarron in this ball game. Texas A&M wins again on the road in one of the most inhospitable places in the country. They win at Alabama. For Gary Danielson and Tracy Wolfson, I'm Vern Lundquist saying so long from Tuscaloosa.